So in continuation with my last video, I'm back here with all of you, my grade 11 ones to, to help you prepare for your upcoming math EOT term 2 exam. So today in this session, we are moving forward to learning objective number 2. And in this video, we are going to be solving questions based on lesson 11.3 of trigonometry, which is sum and difference of uh, angles and identity. So before we proceed to solve the questions, uh, example 2 onwards, from your math book, I would really advise you uh, to learn these following identities that you see on the screen. Uh, once you learn them, it will be very easy for you to solve the question. So these are six identities. These three cater to addition or sum. So sine, cos, tan, and these three cater to difference. So now that you've learned them, let's proceed to the question. Let's solve this very, very important word problem now. So first I'm going to explain you the question. We'll read it together, underline important information, highlight, and then we'll try to understand plan and finally solve the question. Let's do it. So a geologist measures the angle between one side of a rectangular lot and the line from a position to the opposite corner of the lot as 30 degrees. So this is an important information. Also, it is important that the shape is rectangle. She then measures the angle between that line and the line to the point on the property where a river crosses as 45. So, two angles are given. She stands 100 meters, that's the distance, from the opposite corner of the property. How far is she from the point at which the river crosses the property line? Okay. So, before we try to solve this question, we really need to understand the question. We've already highlighted important information. So let's plan how we are going to solve it. And for that, we need to draw a picture uh, of the rectangular shape and then label all the important information. Which is so let's do it. So because I'm not doing it with the ruler, I'm just drawing it with the free hand. So it will not be that accurate. But yes, just to give you an idea. And then I'll show you uh, the final steps as we proceed in the next slide. Okay, so this is roughly a uh, rectangular shape. Now we are going to mark the angles. So, for example, uh, the geologist, geologist is standing at this corner. Hmm? Then it is clear, clearly mentioned that where she is standing, this is the position of the geologist. I will just mark it. Geologist position. Okay. And uh, she needs to go to the opposite corner. Means she needs to go to this part. Huh? In between, the angle is 30 degrees. So I can join these two points and I will mark the angle as 30 degrees. Okay, so this is the first thing done. Now we need to see which one is 45. So I'll read again. She then measures the angle between that line and the line to the point on the property where the river crosses. That means there is a, a river also, okay, which is coming uh, on the opposite side. So, the angle between the line and the line to the point on the property where a river crosses. So, for example, uh, after this rectangular shape, we have the river maybe this side. Let me just mark the river. Okay. So, from this line, the line where the 30 degrees measured, this line I will again highlight it with black color, to the opposite point, hmm? to the point on the property where the river crosses. So, for example, this is the point on which the river crosses the property. This is the river, this side maybe I should have used blue, but it's okay. And then this is the property. So that means I will join this with this point. This angle is 45. Okay, I hope you understand the figure. Then she stands 100 meters from the opposite corner of the property. Okay, so she's standing here. This is the position of the geologist. This is the opposite point. So that means this uh, maybe I use a different color. Now this blue line which I'm again drawing on top of this is the 100 meter distance. Okay. So if we've marked the distance, we've marked the position. Now we can use some logic because it's a rectangle. So it's parallel side like this one and this one. The opposite sides are parallel. This is like a transversal. So alternate interior angles. If this is 30, this is also 30. Okay. Just doing a little bit of... Uh, uh, this one geometry so that it becomes easy now this line and this line total angle how much 90 okay so how much should be this 
small angle. Let's do a little bit more of geometry. So total is 90. 45 plus 30 is 75. So this is going to be 15 degrees. I hope you understand the logic. So this angle, I'm again just highlighting it with red. So this small angle is 15 degrees. So we've not got a geometry nice. Opposite angles of a rectangle are 90. So if this is 90, this is 90. This total is 90. So this has to be 60. Okay, because this is 30, so this has to be 60, so that it's a 90 degree. Okay, so now we are really uh, done with the second step of the question where we finish with understanding, marking, highlighting, and planning. So now we are ready to solve. Now while we are going to solve, before we go to the next slide, we are going to definitely use trigonometry, and this is a question on lesson 11.3, sum and difference. So one of the identities we are going to use and because you see here angle 15, it's quite probable for you that we are going to be using difference. Huh? So that means 15 degree we are going to represent as 45 minus 30. Okay, so now I have put for you the final figure. We are going to now use this for solving. So let's do the final and the last step which is to solve. So let's look at this right angle triangle first. Okay, this one. Um, so this is like the longest side opposite to right angle. So it's hypotenuse perpendicular base. If I take this 30 degree and I try to find my x, then what will I use? Sine. Why did I use sine? Because I hope you know. So katoa. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? So what is the length of opposite to 30? X, which we really want to find. And then hypotenuse, which we know 100. Now sine 30, the value is 1 by 2. So do the cross product. And you get your x as 100 divided by 2 or 50. Okay, so this is 50 meters. So we got this as 50. So therefore, this will also be 50. Now we also need to look at this small triangle. So if I take this one. I have this length now 50, I have this angle. So which trigonometric ratio will help you? What do you want? You want the value of y. Okay, so to get your y, for this one it is hypotenuse and this is adjacent. So, so cut over. If you take cos, it is adjacent over hypotenuse. So yes, this will help you. So let's take cos 15 degrees. Adjacent is 50. Hypotenuse is y. Okay, now I already told you in the beginning, previous slide, that 15 can be written as special angle 45 minus 30. So I use cos A minus B and then simplify it, open this identity, uh, cos of difference. Hmm? So this is going to be cos 45, cos 30. Now negative will give positive. Huh? Remember the sign. Don't make mistake. Plug in these values. You can use your calculator. Make sure these are fractions so that you are able to simplify. So this whole thing after simplification will come out to be square root 6 by 4 equal to 50 over y. Now you need y. So definitely cross product. So y is going to be 200 divided by square root 6 plus square root 2. We don't like in denominator radical, so we'll rationalize. So use the opposite sign here. Hmm? Always, when you are rationalizing, if the denominator has plus sign, you rationalize by minus. Why do you do that? We will use algebra. Difference of square, a plus b, a minus b. Okay? So the denominator reduces. I will write here. So finally, your y will become 200 multiplied by this thing. Denominator, you apply a minus b. So the radical sign goes 6 minus 2. Simplify. And finally, your final answer for y will come out to be 50 square root 6 minus square root 2. Now, you need to give the exact answer. So you will... Use your calculator, remove the radical, make it into decimal and this will come out to be 51.8 meters. So now if we go back to the question, you wanted to find 
how far is the point at which the river crosses the property line that means this is where geologist is just standing this is the point where the river crosses the property line so this length means y so it is 51.8 meters from this slide i provide you the detailed answer key the way you should be presenting your answer if this word problem comes in free response paper based exam you need to show all the steps all the working in this manner how you present in your exam okay so in a is of each of these following questions uh, from 12 to 17 we will be using for sum and difference sin cos and tan identities that i showed you in the beginning of today's session so let's decide which one will work here so sin is there so definitely sin identity similarly for this one sin identity and for cos this one this one and this one now here in some of the question you are given the angle in degrees in some of the question you are given in radians so if you are more comfortable in degrees you can convert also so that it gives you a better idea whether sum or difference which one will help you so if i convert this to uh, degrees you know pi is 180 degrees plug it in uh, put it in your calculator 7 multiplied with 180 divided by 12 so this will come out to be cos 105 similarly this one uh, is 180 divided by 12 with a negative sign so this is cos minus 15 this one is sin 15 degrees okay so now that we have these values we are ready to see which one is going to help us so for the first one definitely we can use the sum identity because it is equal to the special angles 120 plus 45 now this method which we are doing is the long method you can also do the shortcut using your calculator after plugging in these values to just check your answer but if the question says use the sum and difference identity to find the value then you need to show your working like i am doing so 105 can be written as the sum of 60 and 45 both are special angles so let's now see which identity will help you sin a plus b this is a this is b cos a plus b and also this one cos a plus b so accordingly let's apply so sin a plus b is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b i will just differentiate similarly cos a plus b is cos a cos b now remember for cos a plus b the sign is minus so don't do the mistake so sin a sin b in a similar way you can try question 15 yourself okay so let's do these two and then i will do for tan also okay so sin a means the first angle so sin 120 degrees multiplied with cos 45 degree plus cos 45 degree multiplied with sin 120 degree i hope you get an idea now each of these values you can get from the calculator plug it in so cos 45 uh and here oh this is one change we have to do this one is 120 and this one is 45 so maybe let's erase and then write again so please don't do this silly mistake sometimes it happens when we are in a rush so cos 120 because it is cos a now a is the first angle which is 120 okay and then sin 45 now cos 45 sin 45 same value 1 by root 2 if you check in your calculator now just plug it in the value of sin 120 and cos 120 so for that you need your calculator open your calculator plug it in trigonometric values and do for sin 120 degrees so you will get the answer as uh, the values for this so sin 120 uh, it might come to you as a decimal also it might come to you as a fraction also but it is advisable that you take the fraction similarly cos 120 also you have to take the fraction now some of you will try to use the short uh, calculator directly and put uh, you know you the decimal the one that you get so please uh, no not that uh, that one will not be good so try to convert to fraction and then simplify So when you just plug it, plug it in these values and simplify, the final answer for this will come out to be root six minus root two five four. Okay, so make sure you rationalize. That is, you remove the square root. So on the top, 
on the bottom you have to multiply with square root of 2 after you put in these values so simplify and this is going to be the final answer in a similar way you can solve this question also so let's plug in values a is the first angle cos 90 then b is the second angle cos 45 minus sin 90 sin 45 now this is pretty easy in the sense we have a 90 degrees so we know cos 90 degrees 0 so this whole terms go so the answer is going to be negative so negative 1 times 1 over square root 2 again you rationalize so square root 2 up square root 2 down so the final answer for this one let me change the color in view is minus square root 2 over 2 okay. so this you get as a fraction always if you are showing your steps uh, you should give your answer as fraction and not decimal okay if your calculator is giving you decimal please convert to fraction similarly for this one also cos a plus b we will use the same identity this one and just plug it in the value so i will quickly just substitute now so this is what you get again simplify rationalize cos 45 and sin 45 will be uh, having the radical sign so simplify and the final value for this one will come out to be okay in a similar way i would urge you to try question 15 16 17 just to give you a hint these will be solved using uh, subtraction so if you see question 12 13 14 which we did we use the sum identity we were adding the two angles for this one difference would work how let me give you one example so if i take the difference of 60 with 45 i get 15 so difference identity sin a minus b will work here so this is going to be sin a cos b minus cos a sin b again you can plug in the values so uh, sin uh, 60 and cos 45 all these values remember again i'm repeating if you use the calculator and you get decimal that will not work so try to use always fraction better so now we put the values 1 over square root 2 is the value of cos 45 minus sine 45 is also same value but when it comes to sine uh, 60 degree the value is root 3 by 2 cos 60 degree the value is 1 by 2 so denominator is same 2 square root 2 numerator is square root 3 minus 1 now we don't like radical as i told you so to remove it we will do this thing and the final answer then would after simplifying come out to be square root 6 minus square root 2 over four. that's your answer for 15 in a similar way i would urge you to try 17 and 16 also for questions 12 to 17 this is the answer key where you find values of sine and cosine by using sum and difference identities uh, make sure to check your answer you can also apply the shortcut of putting these values on your calculator and getting these answers